Hey y'all, it's fam again. And I'm back. I'm gonna show you right quick what I'm gonna be muck banging, muck bonging. Um making sure it don't have nothing with my address on it. First of all, y'all will probably guess said it. I'm finna be out the frame. Excuse whatever you be seeing up in here. I ain't trying to flash nobody, but I'm finna just stand up. I found this, you all. This is pickle ginger. This is the way I found it at the Asian store. They actually did have a jar, but this was much cheaper and I get more use out of it because I'm gonna use about half of this in the sauce that I'm going to be making. So I said sauce. And this is what I got you all. And I'm gonna open it up. And if you all could see, excuse me, on that, this is a four pound, 4.97, three pounds from being five pounds. Crab, I got this from Fisherman Express. It's Fish X. They have great customer service. You can get this overnighted to you, or you can set up a, a date and a time. This one right here came cooked. I'm quite sure I seen someone do them live. I'm not ready for that. I'm not. I'm not ready. Um, it says on here to steam, boil, or bake four to six minutes. I'm going to put it in a 350 degree oven for about 10 minutes. And then I'm going to check it. I got this pan right here, you all, that I'm going to put it down in. I got about a, a cup. If you could, well, you can't see it. But I have a cup of chicken stock at the bottom of this pan. Oh, suck it, suck it now. Ah. I let it throw it out. They deliver it to your door. It's uh, in dry ice, in a styrofoam uh, packaging. Like I said, it was real simple, real easy. Great customer service with uh, placing my order. I'm going to go over to the sink, and I am going to be. I got to get the mop and mop some of this here off. I will be, um, maybe I told y'all even in depth, this thing be fighting. I will be rinsing it off and I'm not gonna put no seasoning or anything uh, on it cause that'll be a waste cause I can't suck on none of this here. These little prickly things, baby, they ready to, to get ya. So you have to be real careful, but this is what it is y'all. This here is 4.97, almost five pounds. And all I'm gonna do with it is um, broccoli, corn, and eggs. That's it. And my sauce, I told you all I was going to come back and share the uh, recipe on how I do my beloved sauce. But as you can see, I've already opened this one up. This is a spicy one. Is this, no, this is the mild. This is the mild. I may have to open up the spicy one. But I don't follow the package instruction on this here. And I'm telling you, I get six to eight uses out of this because I do a teaspoon or two at a time with maybe a cup of my chicken broth or whatever it is that I'm using. But I am going to be putting the ginger in there and I will use a, a full stick of butter, brown sugar, Worcestershire sauce, uh, sweet and sour sauce, garlic powder, onion powder. This is extra seasoning that I add to this here. Uh, to get it flavored, I'm going to grill a whole onion to get it flavored the way I want it uh, flavored because I don't add the coke. I don't do the coke. I have done it, but I don't do the coke, but I do do the brown sugar and I add a little bit more uh, seasoning. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to prepare. That's what we're going to have uh, for our muck bomb. 
So y'all come on back. No, y'all come on over because I'm going to stop this video and we're going to do it. And as far as my butter, you all, I'm going to clarify my butter. And clarifying your butter is just separating your um, the, the water and the uh, butter, the water and the milk, the water and the milk contents in the butter. And you put it on a low heat. And you just skim it. It has to be a low heat because if you burn this butter, then you could use it in, say, like a cake or a cookie recipe. You just have brown butter. But you want to put it on a low heat. And when it starts to separate, you'll see it. You'll foam it uh, up. I get a spoon and put it in a another bowl. And then at the bottom, you see the uh, milky white looking. And then you'll have all that gold, that butter. I'll pull that off. You can strain it into another container because I take that same skillet that I'm using and that's what I'm going to saute my garlic and my onion uh, with and put my seasoning that I'm going to add in the brown sugar. And then I add beloved seasoning from this uh, package here, but I may open up the spicy. I think I am. I add, uh, I'm going to use a fourth of a cup of that seasoning today too. And just let it cook for about 20 30 minutes to marinate and then you get ready and you crack them legs so i'll see y'all i'm ready for you boy bye now